Okay, so we have a fantastic video to show you guys right now from the heart of the European Union. Yes, the tide is truly turning in Europe. We have an MEP from Croatia who decided to stand up inside the chamber of the European Parliament, you know, that fake plastic parliament that they have, and decided to speak out against the World Economic Forum ideas that comes out of Davos every single year uh, in regards to uh, the acceleration of globalized world and of course in the name of the green agenda and everything else we have to eat bugs and insects and everything else and and of course uh, all the farmers in europe especially in the netherlands who've been under attack let's go to this video and see what this mp has to say danas se raspravljamo o ulozi vas poljoprivrednika u zelenoj tranziciji vaša uloga je iznimno jednostavna vi morate nestati zašto Zato jer smetate novoj suludoj ideologiji potpune kontrole na stanovništvom Europske unije, za koje će u skorijoj budućnosti jedina hrana biti umjetno stvorena hrana nadopunjena uvezenim kukcima sa istoka. Normalnu biohranu moći će kupovati i jesti isključivo bogati. Rat protiv poljoprivrednika je započeo u Nizuzemskoj, Tamo se farmerima temeljem zakona želi oduzeti njihovo zemljište i predati u ruke građevinskom sektoru, jer je navodno poljoprivredna opasna po zemljište i stanovništvo. Oni se ne daju, tako se neće dati ni poljoprivrednici u Hrvatskoj i drugim zemljama Europske unije. Hvala. Now, the only problem with this is that the European Parliament is not a real parliament. And you can't have all these politicians and so-called lawmakers standing up, having these speeches, but no one's going to hear them. No one's going to do anything about them. They don't, real, they don't have real power because they work in blocks. And the European Commission and the Council have decided to control these blocks that are in favor of more big European Union projects and everything else. So they always win. They always get what they want. Now, who is this politician? This is a uh, Mislav Kolakusic uh, from Croatia. He's actually a former judge, and he's been fighting against the uh, again the increase of the size of the state and the European Union on a regular basis. Been speaking out against the lockdown measures and everything else that happened since 2020, and he's been recently talking about the battle in the Netherlands and other parts of Europe when it comes to the farmers and individual liberty and self determination. Autonomy matters and, and, and national, national sovereignties. All that is going away right now because the European Union are completely giving them away to more globalized institutions. And this is the whole point of the plan. They had this idea since the 50s and 60s. It's not really new. And the, the whole point of the so-called United States of Europe is not just to end it with Europe. It's to essentially completely turn the whole world into what they would call a one world government sort of thing, but not in a fictional Hollywood sort of way. This is a long term plan to make things more streamlined and more efficient and all the elites will be absolutely fine. It's all the ordinary people in all these countries. We're not going to have any say. That's the main problem with this whole debate. But we still have some politicians who are trying to rise up, which is good because they can then become world leaders in their own countries like Meloni in Italy. Maybe this guy could become, you know, the next leader in Croatia. Then maybe he could have the domino effect of countries slowly leaving the European Union. But I think at that point, we're going to see the end of the European, the downfall of the European Union, before we actually see a big wave of exits uh, from member states. I think what we're going to end up seeing is a, a, a devolved version of the European Union. And they might even turn into a different branding. But it will still stay around. The European project is not going to go anywhere anytime soon, even if the EU fails. Pre we got President Macron already uh, thinking about the backup plan. He's already set up the, the new EU, the new political EU, which is the European political community. And he's even asked the UK to join us. He said, it's not, it's not like the European Union. You don't have to be an EU member to join us, but you can still join us. Hmm. What's the plan, Macron? What is the plan? Now, we're going to keep you guys posted on this issue as usual. The best thing you can do is subscribe to the channel, share this video. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.